Hey guys, Zar here. Good morning to you. Happy Monday. Interesting Monday so far. Black Monday, August the 5th. It is 928. We're about two minutes to the market open on New York and we are down to the tune of historic numbers. We are down, we were down about 1,200 points, 1,100 points on the NASDAQ futures overnight. We're now down 5.2% to 950 points. Right before the open here, the S&P is down 4%, 212 points, and the Dow futures are down 2.85%, much more muted, uh, 1,150 points. Gold is down 2.25%, oil is down 2.3%, Bitcoin down 15%, Ethereum down 19% overnight. And uh, things are not pretty. The rest of the world, too. Taiwan had the biggest drop in 57 years. Nikkei had the biggest point drop in history and uh, rivaling uh, Black Monday from 1987. And uh, so things are ugly out there. And I'm guessing these tech stocks are going to get absolutely crushed here on the open. Of course, uh, they would have been crushed in the pre-market already. So watching, guys, here, we got about um, 50 seconds left until the open here on New York. Let me show you the daily chart so you can really get an idea of the daily frame. We are handily below the 200, the 100, the 50, and the 21 day and nine day moving averages here. So really uh, getting crushed here on the daily charts. Uh, this is the NASDAQ S&P below 200, Dow just below the 200 as well. And that's the most muted of the pullbacks. And we are down, uh, was it about 17% from the all time high just a couple of weeks ago? Yep, 17.3%. Here we go, guys. I'm going to take you back to the three sisters. Uh, really just kind of ignoring VWAP for the time being here. We are now open on New York. Let's see where we go from here. I'm going to be very patient here today, guys. I may not even take any trades here this morning or for the entire day. We just don't know uh, what uh, the market's going to provide here in terms of optimal setups. And that's all I really trade or try to trade only optimal setups. And so if it's not clean and obvious, I'm not going to toss the coin. It's that simple. Here's the power grid for the NASDAQ. Bearish daily, as you can see, very, very bearish. Understatement of the century below last week's range low very very handily of course and blowing through friday's low as well the 30 minute chart here of course shows you this range here very big sell-off these are big moves by the way and then this rally attempt here and so this is uh, asia rally attempt here into the uk session and then selling all of that and eliminating it but then finding support here finding support here and so far finding support here as well and uh, looking to see if that's going to continue here on the open. The one minute open range is set. I'm now dropping down to the 30 second chart just to get a little bit more detail here, a little more minutia, if you will, waiting for my background to uh, load here. Uh, seems like trading view might be under a little bit of strain here. Could be my computer, you never know. But uh, watching this now, three sisters, we are inside the open range. Let me just expand this here. Again, I'm going to ignore the uh, VWAP for the time being since the volume weighted average price really doesn't mean a whole lot, as much to me until these North American participants are included in the uh, in the math on that. All right, so we are moving above now the open range on the NASDAQ. It's the one minute open range inside, eh, moving above now also on the S&P and staying flat to down on the Dow. Let's see where we go from here. Obviously, we do have some space to move here in this range if we wanted to do what we did earlier here overnight. When I say we, the overnight session, the UK players, the European players, of course, Germany, very much a part of that. Italy, France, all those great European countries. But now I'll be watching very carefully. All right, guys, watching this now, rallying sort of on all three, not, not above the open range yet on the Dow. All right, guys, bit of a divergence here with uh, NASDAQ trying to get above these pre-market pivots. This will be pivotal to me, no pun intended. And then dropping down here on the Dow. Let's see if this NASDAQ can get through this area right there. And if it does, I might take a look at something. Maybe if we get more structure, maybe a pullback to the open range, etc. And that's just dealing with um, with this area of, uh, of ranging that we have on the 30-minute chart. Nothing yet. All right, guys, this is not a trade, just thinking. I'll tell you if I go live here. 
All right, by stop order, guys, by stop order. Be looking for one R. And I'm in, guys. I'm in. Long the NASDAQ. Now it's the patience game. So why am I going long here, guys? Well, historic sell-off here overnight. We have pulled all the way back into a very well-established zone from the Asian session and confirmed by the European session with this very orderly rally back and then this cascading um, gravity move back into that same zone, rejecting again in the pre-market, this time the crossover to North America now being confirmed again on this new market. So again, this bearish, very bearish move here in the Asian session, and then a turnaround in the pre-market before Europe, right? strong rally through Europe and then cascading down again into the same position here rejecting at that same area so buyers are clearly here whether they're algorithms programs institutions foundations endowments pensions you name it came back in here and confirming this move there's nothing wrong with going long on a super extended move on the daily chart to take advantage of a snapback or pullback, assuming your stack of units of conviction are all lining up, and they are above EMAs, guys, above the open range, uh, above this uh, pivot area that I mentioned here that is so important in this move, as far as I'm concerned, at the very least. All right, guys, we're back, and as you can see, we've had this pullback all the way back to my original entry, and I was... I still am sort of regretting not moving to break even, but it just felt like this was so strong. We just had a little bit to go here. I was thinking one more push, but uh, maybe we can make our way to the promised land now. Who knows? We'll see. I may still move to break even depending on what happens in through here and what's happening here too, guys. This is important to me. We're getting the support from the uh, S&P. In fact, we were getting support from the Dow as well in through here. It doesn't have to be above the open range here. Just this buying coming in onto all three is really what, uh, what would be nice to see during a move like this. All right, guys, watching the three sisters on another slide, another chart. I am moving my stop to break even right here. One more drop down below and I'll be out break even. Otherwise, we'll see if we can just get back up there and finish this thing off. And there it is, guys. Pretty straightforward, beautiful textbook double bottom here on the 30 minute chart in the same positions on the crossover. So Asian uh, going into the pre-market of the UK session, this beautiful buying and cascading sell off back into the same position in the uh, UK session pre-market to the New York with a continue buying again, right? So you see the same picture here, sort of a measured move, a lot more volume, of course, in the North American session, powered that up in one candle. And after a very significant extended move by any measure on the daily chart here, historic moves overnight. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate you. Talk to you soon.